we operate throughout the Southern African region. And recently in 2017, we were acquired by Adapt IT, um, and we've now formed part of their hospitality division within Adapt IT. And two months ago, we acquired a business in uh, Mauritius uh, as Adapt IT Hospitality, uh, which is now given us uh, another region that we operate, which is the Indian, o Indian Oceans. Uh, so we have presence now in Mauritius, uh, Seychelles, uh, Madagascar, Comoros, and all those islands. I think the industry is, uh, is a much more flexible industry than we had pre-COVID. Uh, it's not nice to have gone through what the industry has gone through, to be quite frank. But I think what it has done, it has forced the industry to fast track its innovation, to fast track its adoption of technology, which we have been trying to push into the industry, but no one was accepting of the fact that actually you have to have an integrated platform where you can have consumers uh, <coughs> able to purchase through online and any other engagement platforms that you need to have available. So it has forced the industry to adopt technology, it has forced the industry to, to adapt to the new normal, to be quite frank. So that is, that is a great opportunity because what it has done is, is created a space where the, the restauranteurs and the hoteliers are now having to reconfigure their businesses and say, how do I innovate and automate my operations so that I can bring about um, efficiencies but also with the fact that I've lost so much skill how do I use what I have to actually make uh, my business work. For us we've got a lot of innovations that we, we bring into the industry this year and going forward with a number of partners. Uh, we are launching eSipo which uh, I think is going to be a great 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 product for consumers the ability to give somebody an experience to go stay at a, at a certain location or a spa experience, etc. And what we're going to be putting into this platform, since we've acquired the business in, in, in Mauritius, some of our Mauritius hotels, etc., some of those will be available for them to gift to somebody. You can imagine somebody can gift you a stay at a, a Mauritius hotel or a Seychelles. And I think that's, that's, that's one of the most exciting things that we're going to bring to the industry going forward. SIPO is an interesting concept for us. Uh, it's going to be completely unique in South Africa. It's, our rollout plan is to use uh, ROAS platforms uh, in South Africa. Um, we are talking with a number of, of, of ROAS platforms, the likes of eBucks, etc., all of those type of platforms. So it's, it's available in those platforms where you can use the transacting method within those platforms to acquire a, a SIPO gift for somebody else, etc. So there will be that particular uh, rollout, but there's also a, a, a much more consumer-facing rollout that we're going to be dealing with on our side with our marketing agency that we're going to be pushing a SIPO out there. Um, so yeah, in the next 6 to eight, 18 months, the focus is really going to be about building the platform, bringing more merchants, Right now, we are focusing on bringing hotel merchants as the first phase. The next phase is to bring in uh, F&B uh, uh, merchants uh, who give uh, gifting experience for a dinner for two, for example, all of those things. And then the, the spa merchants are also going to be brought in. Imagine if you can go into such a platform and you can buy somebody a, a voucher for mango nani for whatever the case may be. So that's, it should be a, a, a phased a phased-in approach, uh, but it's, it's SIPO is the first part. It's a much bigger system that we're building, to be quite frank. So today's event is really going down the, the path of the deep specialization through industry verticals. And it's a hospitality event. It's an event where we bring together our partners, our techni uh, technology partners, our clients, and our people to talk about uh, the trends within the industry, the, the solutions that exist, and really prepare for tomorrow. So hospitality has been through the worst of it. You know, the pandemic and COVID hit a lot of industries, but probably more so the hospitality industry. And they had to survive the pandemic, and now they have to adjust to a new boom where consumers want to get back to restaurants, back into hotels. and. It's been driving a lot of innovation. The innovation, first of all, to survive the difficult times, and now innovation to survive the boom in demand 
in an industry that lost a lot of people and uh, a lot of capital. I think South Africa particularly has had a lot of challenges of recent. You know, most of, of the things the country has faced in one way or another has a very big impact on hospitality. And today is very encouraging to see a bunch of leaders from the industry come together and demonstrate how resilient actually they have been through such a tough time. Africa is a bit delayed in terms of this boom of hospitality. I think the challenge for the country particularly is just to create an environment conducive to bring this growing industry into our continent and to take full advantage of it. Um, it's definitely booming internationally and, and we see the same thing happening to, to the African continent as well.